Hey look guys, and welcome to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of... Not Ocarina... I made the same mistake in my other episode. Says well, without a guy who claims this is better than Ocarina of Time. <laughs> well, the graphics, of course. And anyway, in the last episode, we, um... We made it halfway through the temple, and as you can see, in this episode, I have a guest commentator. Please feel free to say your name. Hello everyone, it's Sugar Conroy, and welcome back to more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. John, this is not... This, we are not the runaway guys. The runaway guys? Or the runaway bride? Right. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Flutters. I usually don't prefer saying my name in my intro, but just I'm just saying it now so that way people know who this guy is. So, if you couldn't recognize me by my extremely obvious voice. <laughs> well guys, there you have it, my... Guest commentator, Mr. Flutters. He has a main channel, Mr. Flutters, and a second channel, Mr. Flutters Games. And, whoa. Look at this. We're in a place that looks freaking abandoned. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Flutters Games has pretty much evolved into becoming my main channel since that's the one I usually update on every day. But, um, but yeah, the main channel, I only upload when there's really like a non-gaming video that's worth really uploading a non about. A non-gaming video. Yes. So by that you mean, like tests of like no, other... like that yeah, that is gaming. Like if it's like if it's like an unboxing and stuff, that'll be like a, a main channel video. But since that's pretty much gonna that one I made about my own capture card unboxing, it's pretty much gonna be the only unboxing video I made because that's really like the only one people will care about. Usually a lot of people who do unboxing videos usually do it on this random crap that no one really cares about. But, um, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> that is pretty fascinating, and I have to admit that. Yeah. So, uh, explain yourself. What made, what made you want to let's play Twilight Princess with the GameCube slash Wii? And, and I just fell off. Great, great start to an episode. Yes, it is. Okay, guys, we are back. Alright, guys, we are back. And, wow, I just freaking made a su almost a suicide jump there, but that's fine, I guess. However you want to say it. <laughs> Yeah, um, Twilight Princess, in my opinion, it's not a bad game. I know how like you love this game and all it's like one of your favorite games, but to me, honestly, I don't think this is a bad game. It's just I think it is, in my opinion, the worst of the 3D Zelda titles. I'm not saying it's bad. I actually did really enjoy this game playing it, but um, uh, I own the Wii version. I know that the GameCube version is like far superior due to con the controller, and, and in some ways, it looks better on the GameCube than the Wii. And um, so pretty much mm -hmm. well in my but, um, opinion i will say this is d well in my opinion i think twilight princess is awesome and i'm let's playing it i know you can let's play it if you want to i'm just saying it is a good game i will say that and um i just i had a lot i just feel like i had a lot more fun playing the twilight princess uh no not tw <laughs> i mean wind waker majora's mask in ocarina of time more than i did twilight princess i will say anyway. skyward sword was not as fun as the other three, but I will say that this is this. It's probably like this game's on par with Skyward Sword in a way. Yeah. Anyway, we have come across another Goron Elder. Let's speak to him, shall we? Oh, ah, the young human. I am pleased to see you make it this far, but I am one of the four elders of the Goron tribe. I am called Gor Ebizo. Ebizo. You have heard. You have heard of the. You have heard of the plight of our patriarch. Otherwise, you would not have come to see me. Here, take this, brother. And we got a second key shard. How does that sound? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yes, it does. <laughs> you should have said here. you got the thing. No, I don't make that reference anymore. Oh. Got John. I made that reference. I think, at least I think I did. I made that reference in my Ocarina of Time series. But don't oh, bring it up. That was oh, just yeah. way too funny, and I'm very sorry. Oh yeah, back when you were used to record with a potato. <laughs> that was my iPhone. Still, potato. <laughs> there is something that may help you. A weapon said to have been left in this mine by a hero of old. It is beyond price, and so we should, and so we have protected it through the generations. Now, when our tribe balance is on the brink of ruin, it should aid in our salvation. The hero's weapon is stored safely up ahead. Take it to the, talk to the guard, and take it with you, with the blessing of the Gorons. Well, pretty good tip there, Goron Elder. Thank you. So, John, what do you think of this dungeon? Uh, it's been a long time since I've played this game. I played it once, and um, 
I did think this is like this was, however, the only dungeon. Pretty much, I think the only dungeon in any Zelda game I was able to beat without a guide. To be honest with you, I've never this besides this dungeon, I've never been able to beat a whole a dungeon completely without without a guide. Like there have been some times where I did everything except like I needed to look on like game facts like one time, one part. But this is the only time I didn't have to use a guide at all. So. Anyway, guys, as you can see, we have an extremely long part to walk across, so I'm going to cut until we get to that part right there. Okay, we are back, guys. And what was that, John? Well, what topics do you want to talk about within this video? Well, if you, you have any story, if you have any stories, just to, um, you can go ahead and write, you can go right ahead and uh, tell them and tell one. But just please make sure that uh, it is age appropriate because... Why do you one, expect me not to be age appropriate, Alex? Well, I'm not inappropriate on my channel, John. No, Let's I don't. Remember that. Why do you, I had a feeling you were saying that? It's not. I, for one, am very age appropriate. I'm very sure my videos are rated somewhere along the lines of like the 11 or 10 year old range. <laughs> 11 or 10 year. That is nice to hear, I guess. <laughs> well, what are you? Eight, so you're telling me you're allowed like six year olds to watch these videos of these violent games you're playing? No, this game is not violent. This is all. This game is rated T for teen. So it's still it's the game. All right, hold on. Text. Whoa, human. What business does a human have coming here? None. No business. This is a forbidden place. I will protect this treasure from you. Wow, real scary. Whoa. We've fallen into a pit of lava. No. So here he is, the mini boss of Goron Mines. Yeah. So same as usual, just uh, let him come towards you and just like whack him in the stomach. And he will block you, just wait for him to raise up his arms and give him a good whack. Uh, so while you fight this boss that I believe takes a little a long time... How many times have you beaten this game, by the way? More than enough, trust me. Oh, 20 times. The thing is, um... To be honest with you, um, here's a story. Um, it's kind of a painful story, though. Oh, oh god, I missed I miss my chance there. But, but oh well. But um, the story is, uh, you know how like when you're usually walking through a dark area and you, oh. like, and you want to um, get, you want to like turn on the lights and when you end up like stubbing your toe somewhere? Uh, stubbing my toe? What do you mean by that? Like, like when you're in a dark area and you like try to walk to turn on the light and then you just like r walk right into something and it hurts really badly. Uh... Oh yeah, that has happened to me a lot, and it hurt like really badly. And um, the thing is, I did that Friday morning when I wake up to go get ready for class. Um, I uh, when I, wa I walked, I was gonna walk. I got out of my bed and walked to the, walked to the other side of the room to like turn on the light light switch, and then I ended up stubbing my toe into think I think, I think my <laughs> um, my uh, three wheelchair my wheelchair, <laughs> and um, because because of that, I um, I ended up it hurt like heck, and then when I turned on the light, I noticed my toe was bleeding. <laughs> And it was like really painful. Oh, and God. then I ended up just washing it off. But however, me. it just ended up having like dry blood everywhere all throughout the whole day. And to the oh, point, it's my still God. my my toe is like still it has like the dry blood, and I'm just I gotta get it checked out or something. Jesus Christ! It oh, reminds maybe. me of like you remember an episode of SpongeBob? I think it was called House Fancy. Yeah, I think. A is anyway, ha yeah. hang on a second. Hang on a second. I got text. Uh, maybe you are going to see the patriarch of our tribe. Ah, so that is why you were here. In that case, take the weapon of the hero of the past. I thought you said I just couldn't have it. Yeah, that was like more that was like a voice. that was like a that was like a minute ago. What? You need to give him like a more masculine voice for how big of a guy he is. <laughs> oh God, I would I would rather uh, voice act this guy, but I don't I can't think of a good voice for him. But anyway, but in exchange, you must say the patriarch of this, of our tribe. And we rise back up. Yeah, but what I was saying is, um, do you, um, there was an episode of Spongebob where, like, Squidward helped, Spongebob helped Squidward, like, redecorate his house, and then there was this one part where he, um, got, Squidward got, um, the couch stuck over his toe, and, uh... Oh, God, I think I remember that. <laughs> that is, like, that is what this whole experience has reminded, that whole experience reminded me of. It's, like, it was oh, so your, painful. Your, your morning of going to school, I will, I will be sure to keep that in, in my memories. <laughs> Just make sure you have a lamp. A, like a lamp next to your bed whenever you wake up in the morning and just remember to turn it on before you start getting out of bed to walk to turn the lights. <laughs> oh, God. It's still hurting my like heck. 
Well, the sunshine is uh, shining through my window when I wake up in the morning to go to school, so ap apparently I don't have to worry about that. Anyway, we have a chest ahead of us, so let's go ahead and do this. No, don't do it. Don't do it. You got an arrow, a bow, an arrow. It's called the hero's bow. Hero's this treasure bow. of the Gorons is said to have once belonged to the hero from the past, which is me, I guess. Anyway, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we all, we all know how to use it. You're like and apparently Katniss Everdeen from the Hunger Games. <laughs> From the Hunger Games. Are you, you serious? Yeah, like she always has she's known for the bow and arrow. Yeah. Yes. And we are coming yes. across the compass in this area, so we are going to go get that. And once you kill that one up ahead, or at least until you like pull it back and then kill it, all of these um, BMOs are going to activate and become active, and they will pursue you if you get close to them. Let's give an example. <laughs> okay, let's see. I will tell John this. Or as soon as you awaken that one, all of these will be awakened, as you can tell. Oh my God! That was memorable. <laughs> oh God! Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> yeah. No, I no, I am not the worm from SpongeBob. Ouch! Like we should take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else. More like, more like, to like get us all killed. <laughs> I should have said that when I pulled that thing. We should take this Beemos and pull it somewhere else. I was, yeah. It's like taking an entire town and pushing it somewhere else. Oh, uh, God. I'm, I'm being stupid in this episode. Well, maybe anyway, it's just me. <laughs> the best area to stand in is the middle. And, well, that was a terrible shot there. Uh, let's make him an eyeball. Oh. It's like, it's not stupid to make SpongeBob preferences. SpongeBob was really good back in its prime time. Yeah, so we're going to take out all those BMOs, and we're going to do that real fast. So we are back, guys. All of them are dead, guys, so we are back. Matt, um, can I ask a question? I hear something in the background. Is that like a television or something? Yeah, that's my uh, that's my TV. Hmm. Huh. Guys, don't mind it. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna like un I'm gonna like mute out the mo out, out the um, <laughs> out the noise and audacity. <laughs> we got the compass. This handy tool will show you where to find the objects hidden in this dungeon. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Anyway, we're there is a door um, in the next area, I think. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's in this area, I think. No, at least not. Oh, 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 yeah, it's in, it's in this part. It's in this part. So, John, do you have any other stories you want to tell? Well, I am really mad at myself right now because of a problem I had with my Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play, which at this time of this video being recorded, the first episode uploaded today. But my thing I'm mad about has to do with the second episode. You know how I do face cam and all with my videos. I'm going to do it with Super Mario Sunshine as well. Yeah, but yeah. the main problem with it is, is that unfortunately, the face cam, which also happens to have the audio of the video, got corrupted. And now I have to go uh, and do post commentary for the video, even though I do have the video, the video game footage, but without any uh, game audio. So it's just going to be my voice. And that really sucks. Ah, you were here at last. I heard that you might pay a visit, young human. I am far sighted in all things. Here you go the last key shard. Combine all three shards. We have got all three key shards, and look at that. That makes the entire boss key. That's a really large key right there. Yeah, yeah, we can all tell, Mr. Goran Elder. And anyways, I doubt we can get this. Uh, we can get this uh, thing in here. Uh, fifty rupees. Can we get it? We can actually get it. That is actually surprising. I thought we couldn't fit any more in our wallet, but oh well, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't I haven't played any Metroid Prime games. You should definitely play them. Metroid Prime, the first one, is considered like the best GameCube game of all time. Okay, uh, guys, we have made it to this area, and whoa, look at this place. This, this reminds me of Carlsbad Caverns. Yeah. So, um, also I will say, continuing about what I was saying, um, did you actually know this game, even though this game was a Wii launch title, since it was also released, it was released for the GameCube and the, game, and the Wii, this game was originally, yes. um, was developed for the GameCube, and then it was, like, ported to the Wii, so. It was also known yes. for being the first ever Wii port, so. <laughs> yes. And Interesting fact. Al and also, this is a different uh, this is a different kind of experience for me because number one, I am recording with a blue snowball microphone. Yeah. Oh god. 
Oh god, oh god. Oh I god. always hate those enemies. I remember I died multiple times to those things. I, what are the names of these enemies? Uh, they were in Ocarina of Time, I remember. These things always cause me to like fall off and never give me a chance to get back up. Yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, so, uh, if you want an explanation of what I do for my channel, if that's okay with you, Alex. Like, uh, what, what? Go, go, go right ahead, go right ahead. Thank you. Um, so, what I base, so, what games I usually like to play on my channel, I like to play a couple of indie horror games, I also like to play other indie games, I like, I also like to play a little Minecraft, and I might, I also do some live streams on Twitch, which I will be, which are currently in development to be better in the future. I might do some Minecraft live streaming in the future. Um, I will also be uploading them to YouTube, and I'm also since I'm I do record console games since I just got my um, capture card recently about a week ago. And uh, yeah, I also play some little few PC games for my channel. And if you enjoy um, face cam, that's you can probably enjoy that. But I will I am currently trying to also get myself a better recording for the face cam. I might I might try getting like an old webcam I might find which. Have you ever heard of something called the eye toy for the PlayStation 2? Uh, no. It's um, it was something that was released a while ago. It, it's pretty much what inspired the um Xbox 360 Connect. <laughs> but um, the eye toy it can be hooked up to the um, to the um, to a computer, which I can use as a webcam. Which, if you didn't know, a YouTuber by the name of uh, Jakey Poo, or all known by most people on his gaming channel, which is very popular. Uh oh, chain links. Uh oh. He used a uh, iToy camera for his um for his first couple of face cam related videos on his channel. Oh, well that's cool. Uh, we have a large chest over here, so let's uh, go uh, go ahead and open it up. And I know I already know we cannot fit that in there. Yeah, yeah. Look look, look at our wallet. I can use like I can use like I do think that's a two. Like I think that's a good idea. Something. I think that's a good idea that they changed that for this game. I remember back in the days of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask into a Wind Waker that you can't, I don't know, I'm not sure for Wind Waker or not, but um, if you like found a rupee that can't fit all in your wallet, it just disappears, that really like, that really sucks. It does. But yeah, thankfully it does bring it back. What could be cool for the new Zelda game, which is coming out this year, the one for the Wii U, oh, God. I, would, I would appreciate it if like they did the same, but, like if your wallet can't hold it all, it, like it's transported to like a, a certain like bank or, or something you can keep it in, and then go, go to the bank to um, just pick up the money. That would be nice. Yeah, it, it would. I, I would I would definitely agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. So you got the iron boots. And uh, I'm pretty sure you remember what I used to call the uh, feather boots a lot back in Ocarina of Time. The butter boots? They look like butter. They look like sticks of butter. They do. Oh, yeah. I, I do remember. And they're slippery like butter. They do. They're slippery like butter. If you didn't know, back in our old days, in my old channel, um, back in the year, I think it was... Uh, 2013 or 20, in 2012, we um, both did like personal, private, um, private uh, verses. Uh, one was a uh, Super Mario Galaxy in time. 2013, and yes, um, I remember um, Alex destroyed me in Super Mario Galaxy, and I almost beat him in Ocarina of Time, but I messed up again in Dorf. Oh, God. I do, I do remember. I definitely remember. And I remember how you stole my special someone who was Rosalina when you beat Mario Galaxy, so thanks a lot. <laughs> Again, my favorite character of Super Mario Galaxy is Rosalina. Don't judge me. If you is look... It, is, she is a very good character, but... Yeah. She's actually the most the most well-developed character in the whole... in the entire Mario series. Yeah. I'd have to admit. And um, I'm really glad she's in the new Smash Bros. I recently got a copy of the the Wii U version, and I've been playing as her nonstop. She's a really good character in the game. Um, but I will say about um, about uh, Super Mario. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, about a uh, funny thing is I want to say is um, uh, since my birthday recently came up, uh, some a friend of mine on Skype who is also on YouTube. I think her name's Millipoid. She recently got a new YouTube channel. She um, she actually uh, drew my um. Uh, my new, my current uh, channel icon, and uh, it's a picture of me and Rosalina holding hands. I was wondering what that icon came from. I'm like, what the heck, John? Yes, it's going to be um, uh, our our uh, fan fiction name is going to be John Alina. So all the fan fiction writers out there, you can like 
start by calling them John Alina fanfics. <laughs> John Alina fanfictions, that is very fascinating. Thank yeah. you for telling that. I'm laughing so hard right now. Here, that's, that's, that's great. So, uh, Alex, how many parts do you expect this game to be? This looks I, will I, mean. have, I will have to figure that out. Because, John, I'm only in the second dungeon. I will say, this is, along with Scoured Sword, this is probably, like, the longest um, Zelda game in the franchise. Uh, well, the best. I will say that. You no, know, it's, like, the longest in-game length, you know? Because uh, it can it can depend on, like, the, um, the size. It can depend on, like... I know the, it can vary for everyone, like, how fast they play the game and all. But for me, personally, when I beat... Um, Twilight Princess, it, um, my final, you know how like on the file select screen it shows like how much time you played in the game? Yeah, oh god I'm getting on right now. I finished with a total of 40 hours. Wow. 40 hours. Wow, are you serious? Just to beat the game, not 100% or anything. But um, yeah, I think we'd have to say like 38 because I accidentally left my Wii pause for like 2 hours and so yeah, 38. Oh god, I would never want to experience that. Oh god. Put away the shield, I put was... away the shield. Okay, what? Um, did you like did you not buy the um the the high Hylian shield before you went in here? Uh I'm giving myself a challenge to try to keep that um that Ordon shield. Yes, and if you don't do it you're gonna have to do the um do a loser challenge. It'll be a drink a bottle of hot sauce. No I'm joking. Shut up. And you have to like play Sonic Unfair, and every time you die, you have to drink a, a spoonful of hot sauce. A spoonful of hot sauce. Uh, I don't personally like challenges, but it would like I would enjoy seeing you in pain. Just joking. <laughs> oh God! Don't even. Oh wait, before you go in there, check the the pots for par for fairies. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we don't need uh, the lantern anymore until like further notices. But I will pick up one off screen from the lantern guy back in the in the Farren province. Yeah. So um, um, we're ready to go fight think, the boss. I think a fairy would either have to be in one of these jars. Hmm. No, looks like we there's have usually one always jar. a fairy at the at the boss door. Yeah, yeah. Pers Personally, my favorite game in the uh, Zelda franchise is Majora's Mask. I just feel that it's if it has the best ambiance for the game. What about Twi Majora's Mask? What about Majora's Mask 3D? It's pretty much the exact same game, though. It's, only, there's really only, nothing changed. It's just the only real thing is this like it just has better graphics and like they fixed a couple of problems with the first game. But I will say about Majora's Mask, it is definitely the mo probably the most difficult game in the entire series. Because you know, like well, the whole. Well, it's it's not it's not difficult. I would have to say the hardest thing about Majora's I mean, Mask 100%. is the stone, is the stone tower temple. The hard is the hardest temple, and the Great Bay Temple, and Majora's Mask is very, very tough to 100. percent That's what I meant. I mean, so. it's the most difficult game to like to complete to complete the game 100. percent That's what I meant. Anyway. Like you got the Octorok shooting mini game. And... Anyway, we are here at the boss. Oh god, I hate that mini game. By the way, it's um. Yeah, I remember t attacking two cans of rage over it. The thing oh, that god. almost broke my speakers if you put it on full blast. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, Jason. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jason. 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 Dude. Wow. Dude, Jason. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude. I really thought that was your brother for a second there came in. <laughs> he was gonna like beat you up or something. No. Fire. Twilight Igniter. Fire. Jason. Fires. Fires. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh god. There he is. Shoot him in the head. I'm, I apologize for um, quoting Justin Bieber for a second there. Oh my god. Don't don't get started on that, John. Oh no, it's just he's um I don't I'm not a fan of Justin Bieber, but just it just reminds me of your friends. I don't really I don't really like Justin Bieber. He honestly he looks like Molly Cyrus in a way. I just don't like his hair. It makes him look like Molly Cyrus, if you think about it. Oh god. He does. You gotta just look at his mugshot photo. But um yeah, I remember when I first fought this boss, I like I was like, what am I supposed to do here? And I'm like, Yeah, yeah, you, you have to shoot you have to shoot him in his fire eyeball. Well I will say is that the bosses in Twilight Princess are honestly mo a majority of them are really easy. Yeah, they're 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 not hard. Um, I will say the the hard the most difficult boss in the game is or I don't know if I should talk about it, I don't wanna Void spoilers or anything. 
Do you, is there, I'm pretty sure everyone on YouTube's seen this, but let's, pretty much everyone who's watching this video has probably seen the Let's Play this before, but you know, it's a really well-known yeah. game on, so it's okay if I tell, like... Yeah, yeah I, I guess you can. Yeah, I've seen Nintendo Capri Sun's uh, Let's Play on this, so um, yeah, he did, he did a pretty good Let's Play too. Um, I will say the most difficult boss in the game is um the one the very last one before the Ganondorf. It's uh, oh the horse. Oh, is it the horseback? Uh, no, it's like um the one in the Sky Temple. Sky Temple. When you get shoot out of the cannon and you go into like the sky area, Sky Temple. Anyway, oh. Virus, Virus is down. I can't hear your game audio, so you know. <laughs> Great achievement. I really like the design of that heart container. <laughs> it is. It is pretty good. There's also a way if you glitch out the game, it like if you kill the final the boss at like the last second, you can change your item. Like Link will like do the sh the sword animation where he puts it back, and it's and it's um silk. Like um if you like it can like you can change the item to, like anything you want. It'll do that. It'll put it in there, in the animation. Like once I you can even do it with like a bottle. <laughs> it's really funny looking. <laughs> it it is funny. <laughs> well done. Now we have two fused shadows. Hmm, you know, you've been very helpful so far, so as a reward, I'll tell you an interesting story. Zance. I think it's Zant. <laughs> That's the name of the King of Darkness who casts his pall of shadows over your world. He's very strong. You would be nothing to him in your current state. But Zant will have- but Zant will never be my king. I have nothing but, but scorn for his supposed strength. And not that your Zelda is much better. Oh my god. <laughs> it still appeal it still appalls me that the, that this world of light is controlled by that princess. I care for you. A life of luxury of luxury. How does that teach duty? But I guess I shouldn't begrudge her the circumstances of her life. She didn't choose it, after all, and I would never wish to harm on her. No, as long as I, as long as I can get my hands on the on the few shadows, I'll be just fine. Well, just one more left, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing story, Minna. Um, one th I like Minna in this game. I like I I think she's one of the best characters in the whole Zelda series, in my opinion. Yeah, she is pretty cool. I I like her. Um, I will say, uh, Midna is like, um, I think, wait, let's let you read the, the, the dialogue first. <laughs> uh, uh, hmm, what, what, what am I doing here? Uh, my head, it aches. it aches. And here we go, getting the heart piece. You got a heart container. Your life energy has increased by one and been fully replenished. I thought, I thought you were going to, um, take Nintendo Capri Sun's reference, like when he says, you got a heart piece is so big and you can't even see Link's face. Yeah. Well, um, the thing is, I will say, I think Midna is, like, the voice actress for Midna is, act I think, the only one that has, like, full dialogue for the Zelda series that's ever, like, speak, the voice actress speaks full dialogue. She, I think, like, her voice actor is just speaking in Japanese. But, um, or I could be wrong, but, um, wow. I do know she speaks, the only one that speaks in, like, full sentences. But, um, Besides the CDI games, but you know we don't we don't ever speak of those games. <laughs> okay, well anyway, that wraps it up for this episode, guys. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end it off. So, guys, in the next episode of Twilight Princess, we are going to move on, do some more collecting, and much more. So, guys, Mr. Flutters, do you have any last words? Um, you think you want to like what, go to like the area and it's next, and then like save and then go. Or, um, yes. I think we're doing that right now. So, um. What I will say is, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, enjoy this Let's Play. I, I believe it's very good. There's like a lot of effort that was put into it, I can tell, because I know about the year. I think it's been like, this Let's Play has been in development for like two years, I believe. And uh, so definitely check it out. He might, I'm pretty sure Alex is really dedicated for this Let's Play. So uh, yeah, and also check me out on, uh, 
on uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and uh, Twitch. Um, my tw my um my YouTube name is Mr. Flutters, Mr. Flutters Games. Twitch is Mr. Flutters, and my Twitter is at Tardis Builder. And uh, that's it. <laughs> thank yeah. you for letting me be here. So, Mr. Flutters or John, thank you so much for being on. It was such a pleasure. Thanks. I'm pretty sure I'll be back for another episode if you want me to. <laughs> I I guess if you want. So guys, anyway, subscribe, like, comment, or anything else, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye and peace out. Bye. Goodbye, Laters. everyone. Bye, everyone.